Hey world, this video is going to teach you how to solve a 3x3x3 three by three by three Rubik's Cube. But I am not going to be using this as, as you see, some of the stickers have fallen off and it's a lot harder to do a tutorial with stickers that have fallen off. So I'm going to do the tutorial with a 4x4 four four cube. You may notice that it has extra layers and no centerpiece. But, I'm going to scramble it, only turning these outer layers like a 3x3. Three three. And, that so, these four pieces will be considered the center. These two pieces will be called a edge or double edge. And these corners will remain the same, left out on their own. So, before we start, you should know the notation. The top face is called up. Whenever I say the al the a side, you have to turn that side clockwise. Whenever you see an I or an apostrophe after the side, you need to turn it counterclockwise. So for example, this is this would be U, turning it clockwise. This would be UI. Whenever you see a two in front of something, that means turn it twice. So this is two U, or 180 degrees. It might seem tricky turning the left, back, and down sides the right direction. You won't need to turn the back side much, but you will, or the left side, but you will need to turn the down side a lot. So, here it is my tip. Imagine that you are facing each side when you turn it. And without further ado, let's scramble the cube and get going. Scrambling is turning every side, and if you're using a 4x4 four four, but solving it like a 3x3, three three, you should only turn the outer layers as I am doing here. If you turn the inner layers, you'll get messed up. Alright, that looks scrambled enough. So, as you can see, each uh, two edges that have the same color are still grouped together, and the four center pieces are still grouped together. If you use a 4x4 four four and only turn the outer layers, like a 3x3, three three, you're good to go and you can solve this just like a regular Rubik's Cube, which I'm going to teach you how to do. Alright. First, you want to find the side that you're starting with. I would either recommend to start with the green side or the white side. I'm starting with the green side because that's how I learned, but most people start with the white side. Alright. First thing you want to do is get the green cross. It's when each edge piece that is green matches up with the green center and on the side it matches up with its center. So even though this edge piece matches up with the green center, it looks like it's solved on the green side, but these edges don't match up so it's not solved. In order to solve this, we need to rotate it so that these edges match up. It's very important to have these edges match up. Now, to get your basic cross, you find an edge that has green on the bottom, on the blue side, or white on the yellow side, and then do an, put it on the front side so it matches its center, and do an F2 to bring it up to the top. Here's one, but green is on the front. If you do an F2, it's flipped. So here's an algorithm that you should do to solve this. Front inverted, up inverted, left inverted, up, up inverted. So my bad, I said up inverted the first time. It's front inverted, up, left inverted, up inverted. So you don't mess these up. You can't simply do front left and then up because that messes them up. Now, you need to do your last cross piece. 
and there you go. Now you solve the green cross. Doesn't matter if there are corners around, and it doesn't matter if there aren't, because you'll get corners around. And if you, because if you have corners around, that's great. If you don't, well, too bad. All right. First thing you want to do now is step two. This is step one complete. All right. Step two is to solve the green side and make a T on every side adjacent to the green. Doesn't matter what's on the blue side, just the green and the adjacent sides. Red, white, orange, and yellow. Now, you need to get to, you, you need to find a corner on the bottom layer that matches. All right, here's one. And you need to rotate it below its center. See this ha see you need to find the place that it goes into. Green, red, white in a clockwise pattern. Green, red, white in a clockwise pattern. So now you need to solve gre the green, red and white corner. With with the algorithm, it's short four moves. Right inverted, down inverted, right down. And that brings the corner up to the top layer and flips it. To solve corners, you're going on the for the green side, for the white side, to solve corners for. This takes either one move, three moves, or five moves. See, this time it took me three moves. Alright. Need to find the corner that goes to the center. This one white and orange, green, white, and orange. Rotate it below its center, do the algorithm. See that time it only took once. Rotate this below its center, and this is, this you'll need to do five times just so I know by the orientation, but I know a quick trick, but since I'm teaching you the beginner's method, you, you aren't going to need to know that quick trick, so just do the corners al the green corners algorithm in the description. All these algorithms will be in the description. And see, here's one that needs only one. Great, you solve the green side. And note that once you put the last corner in, you don't need to do an extra down. All right, you saw the green side, and as you can see, a T on every adjacent side. This solved the first layer. Now, put your salt side down as we begin step three. All right, step three is bringing the, the edge pieces from the top into the right or left slots to solve the middle layer, or in some cases, the middle layers for the 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, and 7x7 middle layers. All right. Um, so find an edge on the blue side that, just, that doesn't have any blue on it and match it up with its center. Next, you're going to look on the cube to see do you want to put it here or here? Since this is orange, you want to put it here. And you're going to do this algorithm. To put it to the right, you're going to do this algorithm. Up, right, up, inverted, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted, up, front. And see, that fixes it and keeps the corner in the right spot. Note that you need to tear out the corner and match it with its edge, and then reinsert them. There's an advanced way for doing this, but I'm not going to tell you that because this is just the beginner tutorial. Now we need one to go to the left. It's the same algorithm, but you reverse everything. Well, not exactly. You don't reverse everything. You just do the up and front opposite, and instead of doing right, you do left, and you change all the inverteds to regulars, and change all the regulars to inverted. 
All right, you'll see what I mean. Up inverted, left inverted, up, left. See that matches it up. Up, front inverted, uh, front, up inverted, front inverted. And that brings the edges in. Here's one that's flipped. To get out, one, to fix one that's flipped, you have to push an edge in. To, you have to kick this out. Uh, which the algorithm for doing that is up. Well, it's the same algorithm. Oh, I did it wrong. All right, it's up to uh, same algorithm to push another edge piece in there. Then take this edge piece and insert it correctly. Match it up in the center. And don't worry if you flip something. You can just do what I did, push something in there to kick it out, and then you get it back in there the right way. See, if I do the algorithm from here and push it to the right, I do it wrong. So now you do the algorithm. And note, I might have been a little slow because I was looking in the camera to find all these pieces. All right. Now you have solved the first layer and the middle layer. The first two layers, or in my case, first three, V cube, V cube, four, V cube six, first four layers, V cube seven, first five layers. Well, yeah, first, but first all about the top. All right. Now you need to solve the top. This, you've completed step three. Now you need to complete steps four, five, and six. And I will teach you how to do, how to solve the top right now. All right. You first need to solve the blue cross. Doesn't matter about these edges. Doesn't matter about if the edges match up with their center here, they just happen to. So you do this algorithm. You have one of four cases. One, you just have blue dot, none of the edges match up. Two, you have two adjacent edges matching up. Three, you have two opposite edges matching up, which I call the line. And f or four, you have all edges matching up. I have two adjacent edges matching up. So you do this algorithm. Front, right, up, right inverted, up inverted, front inverted. And that gets you to two opposite edges. If you have two adjacent edges, hold them in the upper left corner. If you have two opposite edges, hold them horizontally. Do the algorithm again. You have a cross, all edges matching up. Now look around the cube to find two edges that are, that are either adjacent or opposite of each other that match up. You will always have two edges that match up with their centers. Here I have two and they're adjacent, so I get lucky. Right, do this algorithm. It's pretty easy to remember. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, two up, right inverted, and one final up. When they're adjacent, always do an extra up at the end. And now you see all the edges are matching up with their centers. The edges are permutated. Now you need to solve the corners. Find one that matches up with its centers and, and do this algorithm, right? Uh, do this algorithm. Uh, do the algorithm that I have in the description. It's called the per it's called the P corner algorithm. Alright. And now once you have all the corners permutated, just do the algorithm that I have called the called the green corners algorithm. The same right inverted, down inverted, right down algorithm. And between each corner solve, turn the up face. And don't worry about everything getting messed up because it'll fix.